This question has been on social media for years. It is very wicked because no matter how you choose, you cannot be self-consistent. So let's see how it works. Instead of assuming that there is only one correct answer, I will just treat it as a case. So our first case is that there is only one correct answer. Can that answer be A? Nope. Because if A is correct, then D is also correct. But if A and D are both correct, it directly violates our assumption that there is only one correct answer. A and D can be correct if only one of them exists. But because both of them exist, neither of them now is correct. Can B be correct? Well, if B is correct, then there is no correct answer. But B is correct. It's self-contradiction. How about we consider both A and D and we say C is correct? But if C is correct, then the chance you randomly pick C, the correct answer, is 25%. But C says it's 50%. So it's a self-contradiction too. To summarize our case 1, if there is only one correct answer, then there is no way to be self-consistent. Let's move on to our case 2 that there may be two correct answers. So the two correct answers must be identical. A and D are the only choices. If A and D are correct, and we have a 50% chance to pick either of them. So C is correct. Please don't confuse this with the case 1, because the fundamental assumption of the number of correct answers changed. However, either way, we cannot be self-consistent. The only case left is to say that none of the answer is correct. But if none of the answer is correct, if you randomly pick B with a 25% chance, then you are correct. You have a self-contradiction again. In summary, the question is a classic self-referential paradox. In this question, no matter which one you choose, which two you choose, or you refuse to choose, you cannot be self-consistent. Some people say that this is just a meaningless word game. It has no mathematical significance. Well, I confess, maybe everything I said in this video is a lie.